Demonstrators are showing a united front against the war in Ukraine. KPI Excise Kenny Choi reports from Oakland where organizers held a vigil at Lake Merritt tonight, knowing there's not much they can do to stop the war, but they still showed up to stand. For Misha and his mother Koya, tonight was their first chance to gather with others in the Oakland community and cry out for peace. It's unbelievable what they're doing. That Russian people killing the Russian people. They have ties to both Ukraine and Russia and family members who have fled in times of war. Just important to to support the efforts to stop the war. Yeah. That we're against the war. And people see it that people are against the war. And there's not much else we can do. Alexander Martinets lit a candle for the casualties of war while remembering her parents wearing her father's Ukrainian veteran's hat and traditional coat her mother made. She made a lot of coats like this for everybody. Um, so I thought I would represent, you know, her skill and also um, her devotion to her country. Organizers weren't sure how many people would show up today, but they came to light candles and sing for peace. Russia unilaterally took this move, um, and it's not really clear how far should we go to defend the Ukrainians, you know, without risking setting off World War III. For many who showed up with their signs of protest and calls for ceasefire and peace, they understand their role. I feel so helpless. I just feel really helpless. But are still trying to shine their spirit in these dark times of war. I did this little thing today, and I'm going to keep doing little things every day. In Oakland, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5.